finally figured out a way to use whatsapp with the same account basically the same number on two different devices so say you have two phones and you want to use whatsapp on both the phones at the same time with the same number you can do that now now this method is working i've tested it it works pro perfectly but you need root access on both the phones so now here i'm going to use only one phone but multiple roms so it's like having two phones basically so first thing you need to do is head over to the play store and you just have to download whatsapp of course and so you just search whatsapp and you just install that and then the second app you're going to need is titanium backup this is a popular root app like you if you have root access you probably already have this so just download titanium backup i'll have the links to both in the description just download titanium backup and once you have both just set up your whatsapp like normal just you know just log in you start using it whatever and then uh, after your whatsapp account is set up just go to titanium backup right here and it'll ask for super user access if you do it for the first time so just grant it and then scroll down uh, and find whatsapp here it says whatsapp so just click whatsapp and then click on this backup right here so click backup it'll take about a minute or so it'll back up the entire app along with your chats and your signed in and your data and everything so once it's backed up it'll be placed in, it'll be in the form of three files uh, so if you just open your file explorer just to show you uh, it'll be down here in titanium backup and there'll be three files out here don't touch any of these files like leave them as they are don't rename them don't move them don't do anything so now supposing you want to, you want whatsapp on the second phone as well just get your second phone here i don't have a second phone but uh, you can just do it like just get your second phone and transfer these three files over to the second phone in the same folder called titanium backup so if it's not already there create a folder called titanium backup in the second phone and just move these three files exactly how they are don't rename them don't modify them in any way so once these three files are there on your new phone uh now here obviously i don't have a second phone so i'm going to be using an, a second rom which i've installed with multi rom to demo it as a second phone so like if you don't understand this part it's okay but now basically i'll just boot into the other rom this will just take a minute so so basically in short you have to download whatsapp and titanium backup on one phone of yours just sign in with your account like say supposing your number is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten just sign in with that account uh, with that number and then and once you sign in just activate your whatsapp you can maybe text a few people and then just download titanium backup and back up the entire whatsapp <coughs> So now here I'm booting into another ROM. Uh, this is one's paranoid Android. So okay. So now this is my second phone technically because this is no longer the same as before. It's completely new. It's KitKat actually. Here it says paranoid Android. You can see it okay anyways so in this one you just have to uh, connect this new phone to wi-fi obviously and now head over to play store and in this in your second phone or your secondary rom or whatever all you have to do is download titanium backup only titanium backup is good enough so like out here i have the search titanium backup right, so titanium backup i have an update so i'll just update it so basically just google it and in, in the google play store and download it okay i don't know what's happening okay so it says here updating titanium backup yours might be installing it doesn't matter so basically yeah so once you get titanium backup just launch it and again on your secondary device your secondary device also has to be rooted so it'll ask you for super user permissions just grant it and as long as you've kept the 
the, those three titanium backup files of WhatsApp in the same titanium backup folder like here I'll just show you in in the secondary phone as long as they are in titanium backup and the three files are present uh, this should work so now just go back to titanium backup and scroll down scroll down maybe somewhere at the end at the bottom in the uh, after the last thing you'll find a, a little option like com dot whatsapp something in this case i've already installed whatsapp but that really doesn't make any difference you can have it installed or not on your second phone so you can just click whatsapp and then click restore right here so once it once you click restore it'll ask you data only app only or app and data do app and data click app and data and then it'll basically restore like here i've already done it so i'm not going to do it again but it'll basically restore your uh whatsapp data and install the whatsapp app as well the same version so once that's installed it's pretty much done like you can just go back you'll see the whatsapp icon and just click whatsapp and you'll get back and you should be able to use it i'm not going to show you my chats and things but you should be able to use it exactly like how you were using it in the previous rom or previous device and now they won't ask you to sign in there won't be any verification error it won't tell you like you've signed in with another device because you actually haven't you have logged in you've entered your phone number only once on your first phone or your first rom because in this case you're just restoring that same file so if i go back now to cm12 i'll still be able to use whatsapp the only downside in this is that the chats won't be synced so say you sent a message to someone on one phone it won't be there on the second phone if you go back to it but that's the that's really the only issue here uh, other than that like you can use the same account the same number on multiple devices actually whatsapp doesn't like this it doesn't want you to have multi-device sub sync for whatever reasons but now you can so hope you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more thanks